stampers this is dawn and today we're gonna make this really cute card using the bubble over stamp set which looks like this and this also has a framelit and it's available in a bundle until may 31st these items are also carrying over to the new catalog but the bundle price is expiring on may 31st so you'll save 10 percent when you buy the bundle and then also we made this card in the glitter pit yesterday which is my facebook live and we had a hostess code. When you use this code until April 30th, which is this next Monday, you're going to get two of these make and takes for this card. And let me show you. This is the make and takes. So you're going to get two of these for an order when you use this hostess code. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I cut the base of this card. Grab my paper trimmer. And this is the 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. So we're going to first cut this at 6 and 3 quarter. And this is the eight and a half inch side across the top. So six and three quarter. Then we're gonna score this at four and a quarter. And then we're gonna turn it on the 11 inch side and then cut it in half at five and a half. This is gonna make your two card bases for this card we're gonna make today. Okay, so that's how you do the bases. Okay, so in your packets, when you get them, you're gonna get two and they're exactly the same. You're gonna get all the consumables to make this card. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the consumables to show you exactly how to put the card together. I'm gonna give you all these layers. The silver foil sheet, this is cut at two and a half by four and three eighths. Then the Bermuda Bay is cut at two and three eighths by four and a quarter. And then the Whisper White piece, which is cut at two and a quarter by four and one eighth. We're going to use this for stamping and then we also have our little bottle here which we're going to do a little sponging on that and then you have your two circles now these i punched out with the three quarter inch circle punch so you could actually if you have that punch and you have the stamp set so you go ahead and stamp your stars and then punch them out with the three quarter inch circle punch but in your kit you're going to already have them pre punched out and i'm going to show you how to stamp on those okay then you're going to also have your silver foil sheet for your bottle caps gonna have two of those and then this little strip here of Bermuda is cut at a half inch by two and a quarter and then a piece of whisper white which is cut at four by five and a quarter and this is gonna go on the inside of your card okay all right so first we're gonna go ahead and sponge our bottle I'm gonna use the Bermuda Bay and I have my stamp and sponge right here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sponge I don't know about three quarters of the bottle and we're gonna start at the bottom to make it darker and then fade up lighter towards the top Okay, isn't that cute? All right, now we're gonna stamp our two stars on these little circles, and you probably, which is really hard, I'm gonna use that piece of Bermuda Bay that we cut out from the eight and a half by 11, and the star is from the Bubble Over stamp set. And when you're stamping on the darker cardstock, you can see right where to line this image up, since this is a photopolymer stamp set. I don't wanna put my head in the camera, hopefully that's straight. But you can really line it up really, really good, especially on the color cardstock. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to do the other one. Hopefully that's good. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and stamp also the inside of the card. And we're going to use the May Your Day Bubble Over with Happiness. And I'm just going to center this in the center of this Whisper White piece. Okay, and then we're going to take the bubbles, which is also in this stamp set. I'm just going to stamp one over here on the top left, just like that. And then we're going to stamp the edge of the card as well with the Bermuda Bay. And then also this piece of Whisper White. Stamp the whole background. Okay, isn't those bubbles cute? All right, now I think that's all the stamping. Now it's just a matter of putting all our pieces together. So let's put the inside in first. I'm gonna use the snail. I'm gonna take the strip. I'm going to put this right across the center of the Whisper White, 
just like that. And we're going to layer these pieces together. Okay, then we're going to take our little bottle caps and we're going to layer the stars on those. really cute. Okay, so what I did here with the paper piercing tools, I put some liquid glue. This is the multi-purpose liquid glue, and I put a little dab of it on the end of my paper piercing tool, and I let that air dry, and so it's like really tacky. So I can actually pick this little bottle cap up really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the top of the bottle. You can also use the liquid adhesive if you wanted, and I'm just going to set that bottle cap right on the top of that bottle, just like that. And we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals and add the little bottle cap onto the bottle and then also on the card. Put this right in the center. And then we're going to pop this up on more Dimensionals. Set this kind of cockeyed to the side there, isn't it cute? And then this little bottle cap here is going to serve as a stopper. Let me put the layer on first. Just going to put adhesive on one side. And the idea is we want to cover up the rest of the greeting there so it doesn't show. Just like that. And then we're going to take this little star and making sure the dimensional is on one side so you have a little edge as a stopper to keep the card closed. Isn't that cute? Love it! Okay, so then that's the card. Okay, and then also you can add some rhinestones. Let me go ahead and do that to the two stars. Okay, there you go. Sweet little birthday card. So there's that one, and then here's this one. Remember, you get both make and takes for your order using this hostess code okay and you have until Monday April 30th to use this code and then you'll get both of the make and takes to make both of these cards okay so I'll have all the items listed below and then also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos okay thanks for stopping by we'll see you later bye